हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रो प्लेटिंग इलेक्ट्रो प्लेटिंग इलेक्ट्रो प्लेटिंग इज एसेंशियली एन इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस प्रोसेस मेटल आयंस इन द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट मेटल आयंस इन द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सोल्यूशन अंडर गो रिडक्शन एंड गेट डिस्चार्ज एज मेटल आइटम्स ऑन कैथोड सरफेस साइमल्टेनियसली ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन शुड ऑकर एट द एनोड सम ऑफ द ऑक्सीडाइजेबल स्पेसिज प्रजेंट इन द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सोल्यूशन मे अंडर गो ऑक्सीडेशन एट द एनोड इन सच केसेस इलेक्ट्रोलाइट इज कॉमनली कंज्यूम्ड इन द इलेक्ट्रोप्लेट इलेक्ट्रोप्लेटिंग प्रोसेस एंड इज नोन एज इलेक्ट्रोलाइट कंजम्पन मेथड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोप्लेटिंग इलेक्ट्रोलाइट नीड टू बी रिप्लेनिस्ड पीरियोडिकली to maintain constant electrolyte concentration during electroplating but in certain cases the anode can be made of the same metal as its deposited for example for example in the electroplating of copper copper can be used as anode in such cases the anodic metal itself undergo oxidation at the anode and dissolves in the solution and maintain a constant metal content in the electrolyte this is known as anode consumption method of electroplating electroplating being an electrolysis process the amount of metal getting deposited and the amount of current passing through the electrolytic cell are related to each other by the law of electrolysis namely faraday's law faraday's laws there are two laws faraday's first law of electrolysis and faraday's second law of electrolysis these two laws are used during electrolysis first law that is the faraday's first law of electrolysis what is that i am telling now the amount of substance deposited dissolved or liberated at an electrolyte electrode is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passing through the electrolyte through electrolytic solution during electrolysis again i am telling you first law of uh, faraday's first law of electrolysis the amount of substance deposited dissolved or liberated at an electrode is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passing through the electrolytic solution during electrolysis here total quantity of electricity passed is equal to ampere into second means current passed how much current passed in for how much second for how much second that is the called coulomb then quantity of current pass through the solution is equal to ampere into second means how much current passed into time in second now second law faraday's second law of, uh, of uh, electrolysis what is this then second law of faraday second law of electrolysis now i am telling you 
when same quantity of electricity passes through solution of different electrolytes the amounts of substances liberated or deposited at the electrodes are directly proportional to their chemical equivalents again i am repeating when same amount of electricity passes through solution of different electrolytes the quantity of substances liberated or deposited at the electrodes are directly proportional to their chemical equivalents suppose you have taken three cells three cells in that three cells different type of electrolytes are there in one cell one type of electrolyte other cell other type of electrolyte third cell other type of electrolytic cell three cell you have taken and suitable conductors you have used electrodes suitable electrodes then different electrolytes you have taken then obviously different metal will be deposited at cathode then how much it will deposit how much metal will deposit on cathodes different cathodes then that depends on chemical equivalent chemical equivalent here meaning of chemical equivalent is equal to that uh, chemical equivalent which is also known as gram equivalent is equal to 96500 into electrochemical equivalent here chemical equivalent and electrochemical equivalent both are different then chemical equivalent is equal to 96500 into electrical chemical equivalent then here chemical equivalent also you can know atomic mass divided by number of electrons required to convert into metal as for example cu plus 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 2 electron here 2 electron is required to convert into copper metal means cu 2 plus cu plus plus means 2 plus plus 2 electron it gives copper metal solid it will deposit on the cathode then here two electron is required then um, atomic mass divided by 2 here then here in the case of copper it is 63 g atomic mass then 63 divided by 2 that is chemical equivalent like that way for different electrolyte different uh, chemical equivalent will be there then different different amount of uh, metal will deposit on cathodes okay now now i am going to discuss uh, some uh, application some applications applications of electrolyte of electroplating this is very very important here uh, many applications are there but i will discuss only very very important applications first application is for better appearing better appearing or for better appearance that is you can say that is also called decorative plating to increase the commercial and uh, decorative values base metal are electroplated with gold nickel chromium silver platinum palladium etc here base metal means the metal on which you want to uh, give a layer or coating of other metals like uh, gold nickel chromium silver platinum palladium etc now second application that is the plating for plating for protection plating for protection electroplating is widely used to have protective coating over a metal or alloy which is susceptible 
for corrosion means it protects from corrosion for example iron and steel are protected from corrosion by electroplating with zn means zinc nickel cadmium etc where both protection and good appearance are desired more than one metal are plated on a metal surface for example a steel is given successive coating successive coating layers of copper nickel and chromium copper and nickel provide protective against chemical attack and rusting while chromium gives a better appearance now third application plating for a special surfaces a special surfaces a part of plant a part of plant can be fabricated with an alloy which gives all desirable properties but but is susceptible for corrosion or we are under the working condition in such a case the part requiring corrosion resistance or wear resistance is exclusively electroplated with a suitable metal for example in internal combustion engine wear can be avoided and running per performance can be improved by applying an electroplated chromium layer now fourth application plating for engineering effect electroplating is a employed for temporary use in metal treatment for example steel parts are steel parts are copper plated before carburizing to before carburizing a process is there before carburizing to prevent carburization at undesired portion in hardening process a steel is electroplated with tin or copper tin alloy at i can say regions where nitriting is not required nitriding is again a process of you can say process related to nitrogen then here uh, i told you plating for engineering effects means it is a uh, just uh, properties they are creating new properties okay electro electro plating uh, is employed for temporary use in metal treatment for example a steel plants or steel parts steel parts are copper plated before carburizing in carburizing to prevent carbon carburization at undesired portion this is called engineering okay in hardening process a steel is electroplated with tin or copper tin alloy in hardening process you want to make the steel hard then you have to just you have to steel is electroplated with tin or copper tin alloy at regions where nitriding is not required this is also called engineering now next step uh, this application fifth that is the electroplating for this electro reforming you can tell for electro electro forming okay fifth application for electro forming what is electro forming then electro forming is a method of forming or fabricating an object by electro plate electro plating for an extended period for specialized applications for extended period for a specialized application 
examples of electro forming are uh, you can say wave wave guides it is actually instrument wave guides and other structure used in electronic and uh, it is also used in reflectors pen it is also used in pen caps it is also used in musical instrument also used in copper floats also used in missile parts also used in molds and dies for rubber rubber and for plastic also okay All, and uh, this is also used means uh, reforming electro electro forming not reforming elect electro forming is also used in paint spray mask paint spray mask photographic record masters and stampers it is also used in electro types and other items in electro types types and the other items also it is used and in printing industries actually electro typing is used in printing industry there also it is used okay it is also used in foils and sheets for different applications it also it is also used in filter in filter screen message these are the you can say application that is a, uh, related to electro forming and in electro forming electro plating is required for this process for electro forming process which is a method of forming or fabricating an object there electro plating is required now uh, last uh, application i am telling you plating on non metallics this is very very important nowadays uh, many things are available in the market which is not metal but it will look like metal due to electro plating that uh, electro plating can be done on uh, plastic also on plastics also and recently these things are e available in markets and people will think it is a metal but it is not the metal it is the plating plating on non metallics particularly i am talking about the plastics on plastics okay then non non metallics are electro plated with metals metals for decorative look and uh, and to impart functional properties its properties will also change okay plated plastics are uh, found in automobiles in uh, it actually this plastic plated plated plastics are electro plated electro plated plastics are found in automobiles in radio and in television sets furniture and in domestic items even in electrical and textile industries also in marine hardware in plumbing fixtures and uh, also in accessories consumer items such as ball point ball point pen and clocks this is used okay then electro plating is very very useful now i want to tell little more about the electro plating of gold electro plating of gold nowadays many people will uh, just it is very difficult to recognize that uh, metal is a gold or you can say others because they will put a layer of layer of gold on that metal maybe of copper maybe of copper but they will put electro plating of gold and it will look like a gold then i am talking related to that that is called actually electro plating of gold then here i am telling you uh, this uh, 
Now on uh, copper, on copper, if you are putting or you are doing electroplating of gold, I am talking about that. When when gold is directly plated on copper, then copper atoms have the tendency to diffuse through the gold through the gold layer, causing causing tarnishing of its surface and formes and uh, formation of an oxide layer. Here, copper that will oxidize. It will oxidize. It will form CuO, cupric ox, cupric oxide. It can form. Okay, and therefore, actually, when uh, copper you are you are putting a gold layer, and uh, copper will when copper will oxidize, then its color will tarnished. Color will be tarnished. It will not look good. Then. Then uh, what has to do? Therefore, a layer of a suitable barrier metal, usually nickel, to be deposited on the copper, copper substance or copper substrate before putting a before before putting gold layer, one more layer of distance uh, nickel, nickel is to be deposited. On the copper substrate before gold plating, why the nickel deposit also actually what will happen? Why you are putting the this uh, nickel before uh, gold plating? The nickel deposit uh, provides mechanical backing. Mechanical backing means it will make strong um, mechanical backing for the Gold layer, improving improving its wear resistance. It also reduces the effect of pores present on the gold layer. If any pores are there on gold layer, then uh, it reduces the effects of pores present on the gold layer. Then, due to this reason, nickel layer is put before gold layer. When gold is plated on silver, now another example means uh, electroplating of gold on silver. When gold is plated on silver, silver atoms also diffuse through the gold layer, causing gradual fading of its color and tarnishing the surface. But this process may take months to years. De depending on the thickness of the gold layer, therefore, it is better to use a barrier metal, barrier metal layer under under uh, underneath the gold deposit. Means before gold deposit, that one barrier metal is required. Now I am telling some application directly related to this uh, electroplating of gold. their application electroplating of gold particular gold deposit is a lustrous deposit and good tarnish and corrosion resistance tarnish resistance and corrosion resistant it is with good electrical conductivity it uh, this uh, gold gold is a very good uh, electrical conduct conductor okay it is with good electrical conductivity comparable with copper and silver and has an ability to reflect the ir radiation means infrared radiation it will reflect due to these qualities it has some special application first application i am telling you used for decorative purposes in jewelry watch cases pain points hollow wars etc second in the electrical industry printed circuits contracts and connectors are gold plated in electronics transistors and uh, integrated circuits pairs are gold plated 
next means fourth in the aerospace industry instrument covering as this in aerospace industry in aerospace industry instru instrument coverage or covering so you can tell and external surfaces exposed in radiations in a space are gold plated okay and uh, next that is the last uh, application that is the uh, reactors reactors and heat exchangers in the conductor tube or conducting tube for desalination are gold plated because of the because of the high corrosion resistance nature of gold okay today i am stopping only here thank you